Scripps College is one of the most historical places on this campus. It was actually the first meeting place for associated students and it was the living room space prior to the Aztec Center and the Conrad Prebus Aztec Student Union. Okay, so this is a really great space for students just to come and relax, to hang back, to sit under trees, just take in some scenery, some nature. I know that I come here whenever I want to escape the hustle and bustle of school. Remember the legacy of Ellen Browning Scripps. She was one of the world's leading philanthropists. She was on the cover of Time Magazine in 1926 because she gave away so much money to so many good causes. And so when I think about the Scripps Cottage renovation, I think about the Ellen Browning Scripps, Scripps legacy. And that is a higher good. It's about philanthropy, it's about community engagement, and it's about service for all of us. The students were very adamant that they wanted to be park areas surround Scripps Cottage. So the associate students in three phases built Scripps Park. When the Scripps Cottage was moved to this location, it was a time when the campus was growing and there was a shortage of space. So they had converted the porch for many years, probably 25 years, into a variety of office uses. Until we just did the remodel, you could not actually access the building from the patio. So by creating a completely flow-through facility, I think it's going to make Scripps Park really an integral part of Scripps Cottage. Okay, so this renovation would mean the world to our campus community. We have had so many different events and people come into the space even before the renovation happened. And with this renovation, we foresee so many more campus partners, different community members coming and using the space. So over the past two academic years, we've been able to have over 500 different events in this space. We've also had over 30,000 different people in this space as well. That was before this renovation happened. And then since that renovation has happened, we've had over 200 events already. My favorite memory at Scripps Cottage was participating in the Winter Wonderland. So SDSU brought in snow and students were able to ride down sleds on that snow and then run down to the patio and be able to get some hot chocolate and s'mores afterwards. One thing I'd like to emphasize is that Scripps Cottage, it's a time capsule right here. Just to my right, we have the bricks from the original normal school. We have the time capsule from the cornerstone of the 1899 campus. We have the freedom tree from 1973 dedicated to POWs and MIAs. And so not only is it tied to Ellen Browning Scripps, but it's our entire legacy at the university here. So Scripps Cottage in and of itself is a bridge between the past, present, and future Aztecs in our campus. It has been around for generations and we really want to protect its legacy and make sure that it's here for future generations of Aztecs.